Pac-Man has won. <laughs> so beginning, you want to start out with your clear position, just like you know, any calculator, you want to clear any operations you might have. And uh, I'm going to do a 1 plus 2. And here's a posture for 1. And it should be registering shortly. And after each posture, you want to do a little dance in between, just to uh, loosen up a bit and uh, <laughs> be prepared for the next action. And here's a symbol for plus. And lastly, here's a symbol for two. Equals. The, uh, the song is just to display the concurrency also. We can do everything while playing the Mario thing. And you notice how it's not driving smoothly, um, and the corrective steering is going on. Um, one of the reasons why it's not actually driving completely smoothly is uh, we're actually the, the sensors because we're smoothing out so much data um, through the sensors. I guess we're actually trying to uh, to pull it more often, so we just stop every once in a while, let it pull to smooth out the data. And here you'll see the uh, wiggle function actually uh, as it tries to get closer and closer to the spot. And if that brick there were more firm, you can notice it gets closer and closer in. So a lot of, uh, I guess, what um, really just parking is, is just a lot of calibration, a lot of little things, and it uh, ultimately just requires a lot of um, just keeping at it. So that's um, parallel. So now I'll start it, pressing the A button to activate the Wiimote, and I'm going to drive backwards to pick up these guys. Uh, normally, I could pick them up in any direction, but because there's a lot of light coming out of the blinds, I can't. And so I'm going to just reset this and activate it. Ugh. Okay, that was kind of cheap, but it works. It picks them up. So he's following. It's much diff more difficult here because there's a really a lot of noise, and so he's turning randomly. So if you, really, if you want to, we can show you a video later. But the goal is to back this guy up by aligning them in a straight line so that I can go and pick up the guy behind. OK. So we decided to not have it turn when it's backing up because it doesn't, it's really hard to back up a whole train of two or three elements and it doesn't work very well. And our battery just ran out. Uh, this here is the thief robot, and then there's the hunter. Um, the thief is going to try to enter each of the target areas before the hunter uh, apprehends the thief. So here it's targeted uh, the first target zone there, and now it's going to. Uh, so it's hit it's hit a virtual wall, and now it's going to. So that keeps it within the bounds of the camera, and now it's going to target the next uh, target area, and then attempt to um, avoid the thief or the hunter. Unfortunately, it was caught. Right. So right now, Keaton is upping the throttle and starting the helicopter up. Pretty steady hover, and then no hands. <laughs> There's a bit of wind right now, which is causing a bit of oscillation. And no hands, so it's flying on its own autonomously. Um, in which case, you notice that when we went way too high, what happened was that the stand dynamics started to kick in, so it wouldn't be able to take off, and so the stand, by throwing it back and forth, 
was too much for it to compensate for. And if you don't hear anything, it means you're missing the notes. <laughs> it's pretty hard. We also have autoplay modes in case the uh, game turns out to be too hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this game, so I'm gonna... <laughs> If you can't tell, this is a, a Tetris song, which we... Uh, Pass through a tool used MIDI CSV called MIDI CSV. <laughs> uh, the top one is not, no, that's not a, the bottom one. Shows you a score. 51, 24, 25%. 36, yes. Oh, got it. All right. This one is just for the mapping. So as this one spins around, you'll see the dots, the square dots appear on the map where it sees the objects in front of it. And as Kavi was mentioning about the resolution of the sonar and having the wide beam, when it picks up the small brick, you'll see it expand out in a large curve as it passes through the width of the sonar beam. <laughs> 